This is the practice video for practicing the D major scale. Um, our goal is to do two long bow, smooth bows for every note. Uh, this is for the December playing test. So go ahead and listen. This is what our goal is. If you've already been practicing it, feel free to play it long. So the bow hold is going to be very important for guiding the sound. Our left hand sitting tall. We're li listening for the notes to be in tune and for a smooth legato bow stroke. So things to notice, the bow should be halfway between the bridge and fingerboard. Really connecting with the string and our hands in place. Ready, go. <laughs> to do for the D major scale is I'm going to say a letter, then I'll play that note, Mississippi, stop, stop, and then I want you to echo it back after me. So remember how to figure out the letters, so if it, you look at the music, and I'll try and hold it still, and then right above the letters how to play it. So D is zero fingers on D, E is one finger on D, etc. Do you work on memorizing these because they're really important for learning our new songs and when we start reading music with the lines and spaces. Also notice the pattern, so the fingers goes open, one, three, four, on oh, the D string, then A string, down the A string, down the D string. So please start with open D, left hand ready, check your bow hold, thumb goes straight in, fingers curve over. It's almost like you're making a wedge for the bow to stick. Then you can make a four with your hand, thumb in, fingers over. Here we go. D major scale. D. E. F sharp. G. A. For the A string, when you have your bow go over, it's not just rocking it over, but you need to bring your whole arm around. It's kind of like reaching around a corner. And then when you do a down bow, it's reaching away from you. Then we're on to B, one finger on the A string. C sharp. High D. That was our second C sharp. Lift your fourth finger, keep three down this high D, now it's C sharp again. Three fingers on A. B. A. Now bow and fingers over to the D string for G. F sharp. E. Mississippi stop stop all the way up and down with no pauses. So check your vocal, thumb in, curve fingers over, pinky and index tucked. Left hand, thumb print, floating elbow, straight fingers. It's a great idea to practice in front of a mirror because then you can really see where your fingertips are going and you can also watch your bow. This time I want you to focus on your fingertips being exactly on the tapes or your bow to be halfway between bridge and fingerboard. Mississippi, ready, go. So take your bow, reach around the corner, let the elbow kind of come up. You want to pull away. Open A. 
Now G, four fingers on the D string, bow over. Back to A, rock over. G. Put it together, open A, G, my turn. Hit, aim with your fourth finger first and have the weight on your four, let the other fingers settle in. My turn, two notes. G. Mississippi, your turn. Okay, and at any time, feel free to pause the video and practice um, any of the steps. Next step, we're going to start doing down, up for every letter. So go ahead and echo after me. So we'll start with open D, my turn. D. E. Your turn. F sharp. G. Rock to the A string. Focus on the bow really flowing on the string and uh, so not too slow, not too fast. Again. Also, make sure it's not too heavy or too light and connected. The D string and lower strings will need more weight than the A string. So we're at high D and coming down. So four fingers on the A string. Uh, echo after me. High D. C. D. 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 Say the letters two times each. You can point and say it, or you can practice it pizzicato as we go. So let's go ahead and get our left hand set up if you're doing that with me. So we'll say every letter two times. That's how we're going to play. Ready? Go. D, D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, A, B, B, C sharp, C sharp, high D. step is to do shadow bow, take the bow underneath the uh, strings, so that way you can have a, practice your nice smooth legato bow stroke and the fingers at the same time. So either do this shadow bow with me or bow on the strings. So thumb in, fingers over. And one of the cool things about a uh, video to practice with is you can pause it and go back and repeat any section you want to as many times as you want. I won't get tired. Here we go. D major scale down up for every letter. Ready? Go. <laughs> how you're connecting to the string with the bow, or whether it's your left hand position, keeping that elbow floating, curved fingers, looking in the mirror. Last time, ready, go. <laughs> Also try memorizing it because then you can really focus on the sound rather than 
what finger comes next? Keep up the great work.